God lives and works today, but perhaps you don't feel that way. Do you experience very little of His power and working in your life? Do you experience very little change in your life from year to year? Always the same problems and sins? Today's meditation by Basilea Schlink will share how you can change the outlook for your whole life. The good news that the prophet Isaiah proclaimed 700 years before the birth of Christ to his people applies to you and me in the same way. The prophet Isaiah writes in chapter 59, And he, that is Jesus, will come to Zion as Redeemer. Yes, this is really a message to rejoice about, for the Redeemer brings deliverance and salvation. But the Old Testament prophet Isaiah tells us that the Redeemer only comes to those who turn from their transgressions. Jesus, the Redeemer, doesn't come to the self-righteous. He doesn't come to the lukewarm, to the indifferent, and the self-satisfied. Jesus, the Redeemer, only comes to those who are dismayed by their sin, who can cry over their sin, hate it, and want to turn away from it. We often wonder why we actually experience so little release from our sins. We wonder why we always stay the same in one or the other thing and why there's no change in our lives, even though we pray for it. Here the Lord gives us the answer. He came to redeem those who turn away from their sins. They are the ones who will experience the wonders of His grace. They will discover how Jesus can really conquer the toughest enemy, that there is no sin that is too hard for Him to handle. Yes, Jesus, the mighty Redeemer, is alive. He is alive today and wants to break our chains today. Jesus is standing in front of the door of our heart, and he is knocking and asking that we let him in and give him the power to work in us. What good is a Redeemer if we don't stretch out our hands to him so that he can catch hold of them and pull us out of the kingdom of darkness? Jesus is entreating us now. Turn away from your sins and turn to me, the Redeemer, and you will find salvation. Oh, if only Jesus doesn't have to pass by sadly today because you haven't opened the door of your heart for him and stretched out your hands to him with the one plea, Redeem me, save me, O Jesus. Jesus wants the power of his redemption to become manifest in you. Then his glory will become magnified through you and the people you live with will have to be amazed at what Jesus can do. Yes, here on earth, and even more in heaven in the presence of the angels, there should be rejoicing and amazement because of what the redemptive power of Jesus has so gloriously done in you. Therefore, turn away from your sins, and stretch out both your arms to Jesus, your mighty Redeemer, in strong faith in His power. Then you'll be able to praise Him. You are the conqueror, for you have ransomed me. I trust in you, the great victory. You are the conqueror, my fetters breaking, redeeming me with precious blood. You are the conqueror, I, though a sinner, rejoice, you trust. This program by Basilea Schlink has come to you from the little land of Canaan. If you would like a free leaflet by the same author, please write to God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. That's God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. God bless you.